sets and intersections in unions. Sets are like numbers. We have operations that we do to numbers like add, subtract, multiply, divide. Likewise, we have operations we do to sets. We've already seen one operation called complement where you can find the complement of a set. Well, we have two other operations. We have intersections and unions. These are not the last operations, but the two we're going to talk about now. So let us begin and let us talk about what are these things called intersections and unions. Let us begin with the idea of the union of two sets. So, the union of sets A and B is. Now, so we're defining the word union and we're saying it's on two sets, A and B. Now, please do not believe this only works with sets called A and B. It's just that I'm having to name these so we understand some uh, jargon that will come in a few moments. So the union of sets is and the most important thing to understand is a set. So the answer to the union of two sets is a set. Just like when you multiply two numbers, the answer is a number. It's not a letter, it's not an animal, it's a number. So when you find the union of two sets, you get a set as the answer. Is a set. Now let's talk about what's in this set. Is a set where all the elements of the union come from the sets A and B? Now this is, an, uh, I would say it's a very not precise definition right now, but it's a definition I hope that helps you try to understand what it is that's taking place. The union of these sets is a set and all of the elements of the union come from A and B. Now I'm going to start trying to explain this in a very precise manner. So the first thing we're going to do is the symbol for union just like we have a symbol for multiplying or dividing, we have one for union. The symbol for union is a U, but it doesn't have the downward tail on it. So, I would read the symbols here, A union B. So we know how to read it, we know when we're going to see it. So let us see now if I can write a very precise definition so we understand exactly what's happening. The union of two sets is a set such that, so you could almost go from right here down to where I'm going to start right here with a very formal definition, such that for every x an element of the union. That's how we read this. This is a math symbol saying for all, for all x an element of A or B, x is an element of A, or x had to be an element of B. Such that for all x an element of the union, x was an element of A or X is an element of B. Now, what does this mean? And I'm about to give you a very practical example down here. Suppose we have a universe and in this universe I have two sets, call them A and B. So, we say that the elements that belong to the union come from A or B. It doesn't say and, it says or, so I could be from one or the other. So let's suppose that I have some elements. 
And I'm going to put some numbers in here in different locations. I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we'll put ten up here. I just sprinkled some numbers in, really no rhyme or reason, but what we want to look at is what would we find? If we were to list the elements of A, we would find the elements of A are 2, 3, and 5. And if we listed the elements in set B, we see that the elements of set B are 3, 6, and 9. So, if this is in fact set B, and this is in fact set A, the question that you should be asking is exactly what would I find in the set A union B. And what it says is, this definition, is that I find these elements by looking at the elements in A, or they had to be an element of B. So I see that I can combine these two sets, 2, 3, 5, 6, and 9, or the elements that belong to the union. Because all of these elements belong to either A or they belong to the set B. And in one case, the example of the element 3, it actually belonged to both sets. That's fine. It's still a member of the union. Now, the thing to note with this definition is this word right here, the conjunction or. In mathematics, the word or is an inclusive or. I can belong to one or the other. It does not have to be both. Now, there's another word in the English language that crops up here in math. It is the idea of the intersection. The intersection of two sets, A and B, is a set. Notice, just like with union, the intersection is a set, such that all the x's, for every x, an element of the intersection. And the symbol for intersection is that symbol for union but turned upside down. So this right here reads, and I will put this down here so we can look at it, reads A intersection B. All the X's that are an element of all the X's that are elements of the A intersect B, then X is an element of A, and X is an element of the set B. Notice in this definition it's not OR. It's claiming that X must be an element of A, and X must be an element of B. So if we were to draw a Venn diagram and place two sets in it, and we'll sprinkle some letters or some numbers in here. Let's see. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And we have this universe that are the letters A through H. If we were looking for all of the elements that belong to the intersection, it says they must belong to A and to B. Well, let's begin by listing what are the elements in A. Well, if this is the set A, and we call this set B, A contains the elements little a, little b, little g, little h. A, B, G, and H. B, the set B, contains B, C, and D. Now, 
When we look for the intersection of A and B, we're looking for elements that belong to both of these lists. Well, A is only in set A. It does not belong to B. We notice that B belongs to both sets, but G does not, H does not, nor does C or D. So the only element in this example that belongs to the intersection is the element B. So we notice that the intersection is the overlap part, the part where the word and plays an important role. B belongs to both A and to the set called B. So we'll find intersections at the overlap. Now let's bring the previous sheet up and look at the Venn diagram where we were talking about unions. And we found the union to be 2, 3, 5, 6, and 9. So we see that the union is not just this piece in here, though it does contain that. It's also all of set A and all of set B. So it's like bringing both of them together. Some students refer to it as the combination, although it's not technically correct, but it's the, what is formed by putting both, of the, both sets together. So, the union, both sets together, the intersection, just what the two sets have in common, and only what is in common. And one of the things you should notice is it's pretty obvious that the intersection is the subset of a union. Intersections are subsets of unions.